All right. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Uh, a lot of random stuff. Uh, I found these, which is weird, because, like, this is, like, a Halloween decoration set that's, like... I don't know, it's weird that, like, somebody would put this in there before Halloween <laughs> ended. But we got the classic uh, miniature dinosaur skeletons, uh, which may or may not be useful for something. I could actually... These ones have some nice skulls, actually. So you could rip off their skulls and do something with that. Or you could tear them apart. So that's that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Little educational-style toys. A lovely shark. Uh, an eel. And then this guy, which is a ancient dinosaur fish of some sort. Does it say what it is? No, it does not. I thought this one would look uh, pretty nice for, like, a D&D &D project. Oh, uh, speaking of other things that might look nice for D&D, &D, I found some of these things, which are apparently Dragonology uh, miniatures. So these are actually miniature dragons. I found these at the Goodwill by the Pound in the pits. I might actually sell these, though, because even though the packaging is really beat up, like, uh, I think I'd be able to actually sell these... Uh, and get some money. Except the Asian lung one, like the... I can tell what they're going for with the, you know, little paint job on here, but the paint job doesn't look that great. And uh, I have other dragons of this style, so I think I'd rather uh, just sell this and get some money for D&D stuff. I'm really... I don't know about the... The Frost Dragon looks pretty cool. I like the sculpt on the Frost Dragon. The wings are a little bit weirdly shrimpy for some reason. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and just randomly, I found uh, this as well. This was actually in the Goodwill by the Pound. Uh, Yoda. This is from the 1995... Um, 1995 Kenner line. So, yeah, it's very beat up. But uh, I just thought that was funny to find, like, a semi-vintage uh, Star Wars figure. Though I guess it's 1995 vintage now. I don't know. It may be, maybe not. Uh, some ed more educational toy stuff, like all little bits and pieces from educational toys. Yeah, I think this is going to be, uh, this looked like a regular bag of, uh, Lego stuff, but actually, if you look closely, you can see that this is actually Minecraft Lego stuff. So I think this is, again, is something I'm going to sell. We got a very old, uh, sculpt here for an elephant. Yeah, this is, a Schleich, Schleich, I don't know. You'll have to look up the video of that girl on how to pronounce the uh, the name of this company, but the uh, lovely Schleich uh, elephant. It's a very nice sculpt, very durable material. I don't, I don't think they make stuff in this, because this is, like, very tough plastic. So, yeah, I think this is a cool miniature that could be a nice base for a crafting project. Put a little, uh, put a little uh, tent or something on top of there. Oh, that would be nice. Very good detail on that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, I bought this little thing of, like, um, I don't even know what these are, but uh, they're actually pretty good size for bases. So I bought this little stuff. Again, good wallet by the pound. Uh, I think that was, like, 20 cents a pound or something, so not that bad. Uh, speaking of little bits and bobs, I got some uh, Craftwood uh, circles. Wait, that, these are actually beads. So some craft wood uh, beads, which are always nice. And some interesting colors of the little uh, little uh, craft gems that you see everywhere. Uh, randomly, I found this guy, who was the uh, Red Cross blood cell. Uh, I don't know, something, something just called out. It's a little stuffed uh, red blood cell. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what you call this, like a pill bug almost, with a saddle, which, uh, kind of looks interesting, but it's a little bit too big and cartoony, obviously. I would have to do some fairly significant, uh, modifications to make this into something for D&D. &D. It looked good enough to the point where, like, I could definitely, like, you know, just, e even if I just use it for, like, some terrain of an empty shell, I could easily do that. Oh, what else we got? Oh, we got another, uh, Schleiss. Uh, we got another, uh, crocodile slash alligator. This is 
I don't know which one this is. There's a way to tell them apart. But, uh, yeah. Lovely sculpt as always. Oh, yeah, I got some of these uh, little wood stamp things. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these, but they these are pretty good textures, so maybe I could try using these as, like, a green stuff stamp just to get some texture for, like, uh, building walls or something. I don't know. I felt like uh, that was something I could uh, attempt to do. Uh, we got some dinosaurs. I thought this is, like, a very actually... I have no idea what material this is, but it's, it's busted. But I grabbed this anyways, and this guy is just a standard... Uh, more of a cheapo toy, but uh, I really like the uh, paint job on this Triceratops. It's very interesting. <laughs> so I grabbed that. I found a very uh, derpy looking dragon. I'm not sure if maybe I could do a repaint. I don't know. I just saw a dragon I grabbed. I probably should have just left this in the Goodwill pot for some child or something. I got a dice with a bunch of letters on it, which is, I don't know what this is originally was for, but it has a bunch of letters on it. So, I don't know. I think I might try to use this in some sort of puzzle. I don't know. It's a, that's a very weird dice. And then I found a bunch of these things, which I have no idea what they are, but they're like the kind of like <laughs> armored elephant with like skeleton bone type husks i thought these would be like cool just to like kind of put on a piece of uh, terrain uh something similar here but this is kind of more like a skull with a skull hand grabbing it all i found was the heads and that was very weird but i figured like that would be good for like a little i don't know a little like project where i put those for decorative or terrain purposes this is like a little weasel guy. Kind of just in an alert position. Oh, weasel guy. I don't know. I, I found a lot of like little mini figs for various from various toy sets. Uh, just a lovely bit of tree there. That would be nice for something. Oh yeah, I found a couple mini figs here. I don't know what the heck these are from, but they seem to be like miniature versions of, like, larger sculpts, maybe? I, I know, like, uh, some of the companies do that. So these are, like, very almost in scale with D&D &D sculpts. And I think... I don't know what company did this. Like, there's little holes for their uh, accoutrements, and you can actually... Yeah, you can actually switch around, like, weapons and stuff. So, I don't know what the what company this is from. They don't have any marking. I haven't seen these before, but they're almost the scale of D&D. &D, and they're pretty well detailed, so I might... I don't know. I might touch these up. Those definitely have potential. I only found two of them. Uh, I found a D8. Uh, more crafting beads. I found, like, these nice little... I found these nice little metal crafting beads. I'm definitely going to be able to do something with these. These are going in my bits box for sure. These are all very useful for crafting eyes and stuff. Bits and pieces here. Ah, uh, yeah. So maybe, maybe useful in the future. So there was some random dollhouse stuff, which I thought would be interesting uh, to make into like a giant terrain. Obviously, a table like this would be. Uh, the proper size for like a hill giant or a stone giant or something like that. It's massive, massive buckets. And a chair to go with the table. And then this little bit of doll furniture, which is like a little cinch bag, which would be nice as a bit of scatter terrain in a cave to let players know that there's giant things about. And uh, more little mini figs. Plastic dogs and other animals here. And the dogs were, like, okay. You could probably paint those up. But the uh, the little eagle was actually not... If you kind of... If I still focus, the little eagle that I found 
was not a bad sculpt at all. It's got a nice little bit of detail. It's on a rocky. It's got like the correct size base for a D and D miniature, so <laughs> I like that. So I'll definitely be using that for something. Found a little manatee guy there. A little manatee miniature, which is I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever use that, but uh, yeah, a decent uh, big old. Uh, Rhino, which I could definitely use, and then some more random dice, which is weird. You don't use, you don't generally see like D8s. There must have been some board game that used D8s, but uh, yeah. So that's my haul for mid-October. I also found some sealed craft paint. Always a nice bonus when I'm looking for stuff, and you know, all sorts of little bits and bobs that I hope to use in crafting projects somewhere down the line. I'm going to be working on the Dread Gazebo build next and look forward to a bunch of new crafting projects coming out in mid-November.